Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here and today we will be jumping on the Trash to Terracotta Neutral Decor Bandwagon. So I have a selection of decor items here that I no longer want and I want to sell them. So I thought I would get them more on trend because they're quite dowdy looking at the moment so i thought we'd get them a little bit more on trend and a little bit more desirable to sell and turn them into some of this neutral boho style decor that is making the rounds at the moment so this is my selection of decor items we'll be giving a makeover to in this video and i've got a selection of paints here in all of the neutral colors We've got a couple of like off-whites, we've got a couple of the beiges, a little bit of a lighter beige, and we'll be adding some bicarb soda to this paint to give it a lot of texture so that when we're adding it to the decor items, it's going to give it like a stone, earthenware type feel to the items, even though they're made of glass and ceramic. So that's the plan for this video. And let's just jump straight in and get started. Okay, so we're just using regular wall paint. These are little sample pots that I've picked up from Bunnings. They're only about four or five dollars each, and you get about a cup, which is 250 ml in each one. Now, for the proportions of bicarb soda to paint, it is really up to you. Like some people use half and half, like so half paint and then the same quantity of baking soda. But really, just put a little bit in at a time and mix it around until you. You get the texture and consistency that you like so I was going for kind of like a pasty consistency almost like a toothpaste something like that but you can make it thicker or thinner depending on how you want your project to look it's there's no great science to it it's yeah pretty easy you can see here I'm just adding a little bit more because it's just not quite thick enough. And then there's no trick to this, guys. You just paint it straight onto your project. Now, all of these vases, they probably took about two or three coats before I was happy with the finish of them. At least two and in some cases three. You can see here it goes on nice and thick and covers the item really, really well. So here are all the finished vases now. They've all been given, I would say, roughly about three coats each before I was happy with the finish. And you can stop there if you like. Like if this is your sort of style, that boho, neutral, minimalistic sort of style decor, you can stop right here and just group them together as a little collection as they are. But I think I'm just going to ramp them up a little bit because to me they look a little bit flat and I think I can just jazz them up a little bit to make them look a little bit fancier and maybe a bit more appealing to sell. So we're going to do another step. <laughs> and there's a couple that I weren't keen on the color of either. Like I wasn't keen on that really red terracotta one that I did just by itself. So we're going to go over that with a completely different color. And yeah, I'll show you some other little paint techniques that you can add to these if this look isn't quite your style. So let's get started. For some of the vases, they're going to be getting a complete repaint. So I'm just using my white chalk paint here to repaint this one to give it a starting base of just plain white. 
and for the rest we're just going to be using a dry brush paint technique to just lightly brush over some white chalk paint over the surface area of them to give them that age vintage stone feel you'll see what i mean in a minute once i start the next one So for this next vase, I've got the tall glass cylinder vase and I thought I would try a little bit of a boho style look to this vase, completely different from the painting. So I'm going to be using some burlap strips. I'm going to fray the edges of the burlap strips and glue them around the vase to create a really boho style vase. Now I'll be honest guys, I nearly didn't put this in the video because I really, really didn't like the look of it and I thought it looked a little bit like Mm, bit how you going but um to be honest when I listed it on Facebook marketplace there were people fighting over this one I listed this one for ten dollars for sale and yeah the amount of responses that I got from people wanting to buy it was insane there was about 26 people at one stage all saying can I be next in line if the <laughs> the original buyer doesn't show up so yeah it, it turned out to be quite popular so Obviously, my taste is is not um not what everyone's taste is clearly. So I just used regular PVA glue to glue all these strips of burlap along the vase just to make sure that they stuck for good. And I also just glued a strip around the top and going down a little bit onto the inside of the vase just to finish off the top of it. And yeah, that was basically it. Well, there you go, guys. There's all the finished vases all done now. I'm quite happy with the way they've turned out, to be honest. There's so many different paint techniques that you can use on these using that baking soda technique that I've used. But I just really like this whitewashed sort of look. This one I kind of did it the opposite. So I've actually painted it white and then gave it like a brown wash look. So yeah, there's just so many possibilities, but I quite actually like the look of these now. You know, it's the trend that's going around. I just thought I'd give it a go and show you guys how it can turn out. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.